Actually, we have got light in the sky early this morning and activity along the Willamette River. We had a little boat. There's a lot of dragon boats out there practicing this morning and fishermen. And we were zoomed in on one. And then, don't you know it, there's a pillar there. And he went behind the pillar just as soon as I wanted to show you that. But the sun is coming up. Sunrise just about eight minutes away, so not too far off. And it's cold outside. All of us down in the 30s, most of us at least. Here's a live look at Salty's on the Columbia. 39 degrees there. Uh, one other stop, Vancouver. Fog has developed, so this is the one hazard you should look out for on your morning drive. A little bit of fog and chilly temperatures. 37 degrees for East Moreland. It's 34 in Beaverton, 35 degrees in Hillsborough, and 38 degrees out toward Gresham. Broader views shows you 40s and 30s out along the coast, 30s up and down the I-5 corridor, mix of 30s and 40s through the gorge, and 28 degrees this morning, 618 in Bend. So here's the plan for the rest of the day. 8 o'clock, it's a cold start. We've got Patchy fog around, but we're mainly dry. Still mainly dry at noontime, 50 degrees by then. It's not until later on this afternoon that showers develop, potentially even an isolated rumble of thunder. Here's 3D pinpoint Doppler. Very spotty snow showers coming down in the Cascades. A little more shower activity out along the coast. So if you're in Cannon Beach, Beach Astoria, Rockaway Beach, Manzanita, you've seen wet weather from time to time early on this morning. The Coast Range doing a good job of blocking those showers for those of us in the valley. Onshore flow continues today with colder air aloft that destabilizes our atmosphere, and that's why we do have the continuing risk of a shower this afternoon. So it's going to be an active spring like afternoon, kind of like what we saw yesterday, but in the meantime, plenty of sun breaks. Here's raincast at 9 a.m. The showers coming down out of the coast and over the coast range. Noontime looking good. This is lunchtime, so not a bad afternoon to head out and maybe eat your sack lunch uh, in the park blocks or something if you're in downtown Portland. Uh, over the Cascades, those snow showers continue. And then this afternoon, here's 3.30. Look at that cell just to the north of Portland. That won't necessarily pop up exactly right there, but you get the idea. We could potentially see these uh, stronger showers developing this afternoon. Then 9.30 tonight, things all fall apart, and it looks like a pretty quiet finish to the day. 54 degrees are high in Portland. Temperatures running 5 to 8, even 9 degrees below where we should be this time of year. 56 the high in Lake Oswego, and those showers develop Developing this afternoon, 56 in Camas, maybe even some small hail, 55 your high in Salmon Creek. Out at the coast, sun and showers, same for the I 5 corridor, except for I think we're going to hold off later to see the showers develop uh, through the I 5 corridor. East of the Cascades, scattered showers, even some snowflakes mixing in toward Bend. A stray thunderstorm is a possibility east of the mountains this afternoon. 35 your high at Government Camp. Uh, Mountain Meadows just sent out their bulletin for the day, and I think they said 16 days left of skiing this year. So so get up there while you can. One to four inches of fresh snow today. Chance of a shower through the gorge, maybe even a rumble of thunder later this afternoon. So your seven-day forecast, not looking too bad for this week. I have to tell you, we are on the edge of a storm system Tuesday through Thursday, so we could see a few showers spit out at us from time to time, but I think we're mainly dry and we warm up into the 60s. Rain develops on Friday, but next weekend, look at that, not looking bad at all.